Welcome to Transit, I'm Jacqueline Shields. Now, when you think of ferries, what immediately springs to mind? Sydney. Sydney Harbour. Sydney Harbour. Sydney Harbour. Yeah. Uh, Sydney Harbour. And they certainly aren't the only ones. It came as nothing but a surprise to me to discover that right here in glorious Melbourne, we've got two fabulous ferries of our very own. And I'm joined this afternoon by Mark Davies, who is the owner of the Williamstown Ferry. And we're down here at South Bank, South Wharf, and we're sitting on the Batman, which is actually one of the largest of the uh, ferries that are actually running to Williamstown and also across the bay from St Kilda. And Mark, what's your association, apart from being owner of course, but um, involvement through the years with this organisation? Uh, okay, well I was fortunate enough to uh, be able to pioneer th this ferry uh, business. Um, I had a, a background in boating on the bay and I also worked for the ports and harbours and so um, uh, it was uh, an opportunity to combine my love of boats and my knowledge of the port and shipping and be able to uh, start something at a time when it was uh, just starting to show signs of uh, us having a waterway and people beginning to show interest in it. Actually, that's a very good point Mark because I think until recently the Yarra has been much maligned piece of waterway in Melbourne. I think we've also maybe been a little bit uh, envious of what Sydney Harbour's had to offer. That's true. Yes, of course Sydney Harbour is a unique city and it's a, it's a beautiful harbour and the city's all around the, the harbour itself mm -hmm. and it's a means of getting from A to B. And uh, Melbourne geographically is somewhat different uh, but we do have a, a wonderful waterway running through the city and uh, now we're seeing uh, buildings and, and uh, uh, places spring up along the banks and we're utilising it more and more. Maybe to South Bank has brought a lot more people down to the river. There's a lot of water taxis, a lot of barbecue boats and therefore also a lot of interest in actually being on the river and maybe heading out to Williamstown and taking a day trip out onto the bay which is what you offer. That's right, yeah, Southgate was an overnight success mm -hmm. and uh, it does indicate that the Docklands uh, will be a huge success because of the, the vastness of it. But uh, yeah, Southgate was a wonderful success and it has introduced water taxis mm -hmm. and now we're seeing that instead of uh, having to promote ourselves and the destination, uh, people are pretty much aware of what, what the ferries uh, are doing and where they're going, so it makes our job a bit easier today. Mm. So what can you offer people who are thinking of something to do on a Sunday or a Saturday, or do you offer a service during the week as well? Yes, we do. The, um, the City to Williamstown ferry is running daily. Uh, last year was the first year that we could run the full year, so we're pleased about that, mm -hmm. that it survived through the winter because we do get good weather in winter and uh, it's just that some people uh, think it's, it's seasonal and uh, we have to sort of, sort of uh, live with that. Mm. But it is sheltered and it is a good cruise and it run, can run all year round. Now if you're on the, uh, the boat and you're wondering a little bit about the choppiness of the seas and maybe you get a bit queasy, is that a problem do you find or you don't really get those sort of conditions where you have to be a little bit concerned? Well, not on the city to Williamstown because we're in the river mm -hmm. and uh, when you reach Hobson's Bay it is sheltered by breakwater pier so that is a guaranteed smooth cruise. Mm. However, the other ferry that we run from St Kilda can be quite lumpy right, and that's so where this big boat ferries, comes. One that comes from what, South Bank to Williamstown? That's right. Takes, yep. How long would that take? That takes an hour. That's mm -hmm. the Williamstown Seeker and uh, it stops off at uh, Polly Woodside here near us mm -hmm. here from the city and, and Science Works and goes on to Williamstown. So you can actually get off and go and have a look at the Pollywood side, have a look at Science Works and hop back on That's again right. and exactly. continue? Oh, fantastic. Mm. That's right. All right, then have a coffee at the other end. Yeah. Williamstown is a great destination. Mm. There's uh, so much to see and do there. So you could basically leave from South Bank and have a bit of a party um, across to Williamstown. You and could. then continue when you're there. You could, yeah. too, right, yes. You mm -hmm. could. Okay, <laughs> well we've been talking the talk, now we're going to walk the walk and we're actually going to pop on a ferry. It's just the tour. Okay. Have no fallen over? No, I've had to go in to get some things off the prop, but uh, it's always been intentional. Okay, folks, uh, now just pa heading upstream, we're about to pass under some uh, low city bridges. I do ask that everyone just remain seated while we are passing under these bridges just to uh, guarantee your safety. Oh. Well, we didn't lose 
there's anybody under that bridge. However, I just about thought that kid was about to lose his head. <laughs> We've got another two, you never know. If you're thinking that Melbourne's getting a bit ho-hum and life's getting a bit dull, then I suggest you hop on this uh, riverboat cruise and have another look at your city and rediscover the beauties of Melbourne. We're about to approach South Bank and we'll be docking shortly and I don't think we're going to be having anybody going overboard, unfortunately which is always good for the camera, however I think what we might do is head inside and uh, savour the taste of some of Charmaine's ice cream maybe and maybe a bit of a hot chocolate or two or three with a couple of marshmallows or two or three. Folks, just mind your step. <laughs> You're a natural. You're gonna say that again, don't you? <laughs> Well, what you experienced there was a little bit of what the ferry cruise around the South Bank Wharf area had to offer. What a glorious little excursion that was. And today we're at uh, St Kilda Pier, a bit of a windier ferry experience, no doubt. But um, today, this morning, we're going to be joining the hordes of people behind me on the half hour ferry trip across to Williamstown. We're going to have a lovely, lovely lunch, no doubt. Fantastic time and a bad hair day on the Williamstown Ferry. <laughs> Jenny, you're not having a bad hair day because you're your beanie on. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you going to do when you get to Williamstown? Are you going there for lunch? Yeah, we're going to have fish and chips. Fish and chips? Excellent. Whose idea was that? Mum's. Mm -hmm. How are you, Jared? I'm fine. You? Very well, thank you. Is this the first time you've been on the Williamstown Ferry? It certainly is. It's my first time. And how did you find out about it? Actually, I was listening to uh, Triple M the other day, and, and on the must uh, do things in Melbourne, this was uh, this was one of the things on top of the list. Right, was this like one of the top ten things to do in Melbourne? Yeah, apparently. safely across as choppy and as windy as it was it was a very very enjoyable trip took no time at all met some lovely people and now we're off to sate our hunger and have a bit of a bite to eat in Williamstown
back at St Kilda Pier. I've just returned from the half hour trip from Williamstown. I've eaten till I can eat no more and I bought myself a gorgeous little trinket. I'm sure you'll agree. That was the first time I've been on the Williamstown Ferry and I certainly won't be the last. Good night.